people often wonder is, if I'm planting my beans early, aren't they going to get taller and lodge? And that's not necessarily the case. Here you can see there's a height difference between this April 20th and, and May 14th planting date. But why is that? Well, think about it. When these beans are emerging in April, we have a lot cooler soil temperatures. So those early nodes are going to be a lot closer together than beans that are planted in mid-May. Let's take a look. So here you can see as we look at all of these nodes at the bottom of this plant, they're all stacked right on top of each other because of the cool temperatures as these were being formed. We come over here and look at the May planting date. You can see the elongation that's going along between each of these lower nodes and that is the reason that mid-May planting date soybeans are much taller than beans that are planted in April. So let's think about the practical implications of seeding rates and planting dates. If I'm planting soybeans in April in southern Indiana, I would want to maintain a standard seeding rate because I know these beans are going to be shorter and less likely to lodge. Also, we're more likely to have adverse emergence conditions that are going to re reduce my stand. If I'm planting in mid-May, that is when I'm going to have my lowest seeding rates of the year. Soil temperatures are warm. We should get the majority of those soybeans up and out of the ground, and they're going to take off and really grow quickly, leading to higher, taller plants. So, reduce soybean rates in May. Keep them up there in early April. Thanks for watching. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.